All right, guys, so in this video, come in, Costa. In this video, we're going to be looking at safety tips when you're taking the elevator. This is mostly for women. For men as well, I actually made a video on this, a fight analysis. So uh, in one of the videos, the woman is staying here. The guy's over here. He gets behind her. He looks at her. She's completely, she's on the phone. She's unaware. And at the end, she ended up defending herself. So let's look at some safety tips in the elevator. So first off, when the elevator opens, I've had a woman say, what if I feel something? What should I do? If the elevator opens and you see somebody suspicious and you feel like not taking it, don't take it. Just wait for the next one. If you decide to go in the elevator, what's the best place to stand? If you've noticed right away, I like to stand with my back by the buttons. This is a habit. Why? Because I can control anything that's here. I could, I have, a, I can see everybody around me. I'll always go in the back that I have. It's hard for anybody to try to attack me from behind or get from behind to try to, to, to attack me, right? I'm also close to the buttons, which means if somebody came close over here and they decided to, uh, to press the stop button, as soon as I see him press this red button, I'm attacking right away. There's no reason why if you're a woman or a man, you're in an elevator, somebody's pressing this red button to stop the elevator. At that point, you know you have to fight. As well as, again, a lot of this is about awareness. If I'm in the elevator, maybe I'm on my phone, but even if I'm on my phone or even if I'm here, I'm always aware of everything that's going on around. We're in close quarter. Most fights happen in close quarter range. You can't kick, you're not gonna grapple your way out of a fight in this close quarter. You're gonna, re you're gonna go down to palming, elbowing, knee, using your environment and striking. If you're attacked with a knife in this close quarter space, you're going to need to trap the knife. There's only so much powering you can do when you're attacked with a knife in close quarter and using your legs is really hard because the person's going to keep coming back. And this is why we're doing real scenarios because your scenario, your environment will dictate what you can and cannot do in self-defense or in a fight. Now again, let's go back to it. If you're a woman, come by the buttons. Keep my back where I can see everybody. Right? If I see somebody press this button, I'm not wasting my time. I'm striking that person as quickly as possible. Anybody who walks in the elevator without staring at him, start training to look at to look at to look at him like I'm looking right here, but I can see Costa's left uh, left foot is a little bit forward. He has his red shoes on, his hands are on the side. Uh, you know, I'm scanning him. So train that. So a good drill is if you're right now in an elevator or in a closed environment, if you go, work on that, work on that as well. So hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you next time.